So the last thing we need to, to do, and I'll show you why in a second, we also need to figure out what is the elasticity of um, the function of one plus tau of theta. So what is the elasticity of this? So uh, let's say we call one plus tau of theta, let's call this g of theta, uh, just for notation. So the elasticity of g, uh, g with respect to theta, it's going to be, as we've seen, because it's a sum, it's going to be tau over one plus tau times the elasticity of tau with respect to theta. Okay, uh, so we've seen that uh, we've seen that just right now. Uh, so now, question is, what is the elasticity of tau with respect to theta? So tau of theta, we said it was r. It's r s divided by q of theta minus r s. Okay, so the elasticity of tau with respect to theta. What is it? So the uh, so Rs is just a scalar, right? So uh, its elasticity, you know, we can just um, forget about it. So the elasticity of tau is the same as the elasticity of one over q of theta minus Rs. And um, because the elasticity of a ratio, we can take differences. So this is just going to be uh, minus the elasticity of q theta minus rs okay now the elasticity of q theta minus rs it's you know it's uh, the elasticity of a sum so it's going to be uh, so rs is constant so it has no elasticity so it's going to be minus q over q minus rs so the relative weight of q in that sum q minus rs times the elasticity of q with respect to theta Okay, and then of course, minus Rs over Q minus Rs times the elasticity of Rs with respect to tau, but Rs is a constant, so it has zero elasticity. So this is just going to be minus Q over Q minus Rs, elasticity of Q with respect to theta. Okay, so we have this. And then we know that, uh, we've said earlier, the elasticity of Q with respect to theta, it's minus theta. So now if we plug everything together, what do we get? This we've just seen. So the elasticity of tau with respect to theta, it's going to be eta Q over Q minus Rs. And then if we want to kind of simplify, this is just going to be equal to eta uh, 1 plus tau because um, tau is rs over q minus rs, so 1 plus tau is q over q minus rs. Okay, uh, these two things are just uh, the same. Okay, so we've got that, and so then if we plug that in our result above, this result here, what do we get? Then we get that the elasticity of g, where g is my function 1 plus 2 with respect to theta, is going to be equal to tau over 1 plus tau times eta times 1 plus tau. And so the elasticity of the function 1 plus tau with respect to theta is going to be equal to tau times eta. That's quite a simple uh, reason.